Whatever your determination or willpower, it is foolish to try to change the nature of things. Things work the way they do, because that is the way of things. Nobody is strong, and nobody is weak, if he conceives of the body, from the head to the sole of the foot. As a unity in which a living mind circulates everywhere. Do not regret, what you have done. Do not sleep under a roof. Carry no money or food, extricate yourself, by your own wisdom. Many things, can cause a loss of balance. One cause is danger, another is hardship, and another is surprise. Do not waste time idling, or thinking after you have set your goals. Everything can collapse. Houses, bodies, and enemies collapse, when their rhythm becomes deranged. From one thing, no ten thousand things. Understand the harm and benefit of everything. If we look at things objectively, from the viewpoint of laws of the world, we see various doctrines departing from the true way. Generally speaking, the way of the warrior is resolute acceptance of death. No fear, no hesitation, no surprise, no doubt. With your spirit open and unconstricted, look at things from a high point of view. Distinguish between good and evil. A man cannot understand the art. He is studying, if he only looks for the end result, without taking the time, to delve deeply into the reasoning of the study. The path that leads to truth is littered with the bodies of the ignorant. Really skillful people never get out of time and are always deliberate and never appear busy. From this example, the principle can be seen. It is difficult to understand the universe if you only study one planet. Fixation is the way to death. Fluidity is the way to life. Language does not extend to explaining the way in detail, but it can be grasped intuitively. Aspire to be like him to Fuji with such a broad and solid foundation that the strongest earthquake cannot move you, and so tall that the greatest enterprises of common men seem insignificant from your lofty perspective. The purpose of today's training is to defeat yesterday's understanding. Be neither insufficiently spirited nor over-spirited. An elevated spirit is weak and a low spirit is weak. Do not let the enemy see your spirit. There is nothing outside of yourself that can ever enable you to get better, stronger, richer, quicker, or smarter. Everything is within. If the enemy thinks of the mountains, attack like the sea. And if he thinks of the sea, attack like the mountains. To win any battle, you must fight as, if you are already dead. Today is victory, over yourself of yesterday. Tomorrow is your victory over lesser men. If you wish to control others, you must first control yourself. Do nothing, which is of no use. Do not let the body, be dragged along by mind, nor be dragged along by the body. Once at the enemy, you should not aspire just to strike him, but to cling after the attack. You must study this deeply. Never accept an inferior position to anyone. It is the strongest spirit that wins, not the most expensive sword. It may seem difficult at first, but everything is difficult at first. Control your anger. If you hold anger toward others, they have control over you. Your opponent can dominate and defeat you, if you allow him to get you irritated. Determine that today, you will overcome yourself of the day before. Tomorrow you will win over those of lesser skill. And later you will win over those of greater skill. If you do not look at things on a large scale, it will be difficult to master strategy. 
To attain the way of strategy, as a warrior you must study fully other martial arts. When you decide to attack, keep calm and dash in quickly. Attack with a feeling of constantly crushing the enemy, from first to last. It shows the inferior strategy of a weak spirit, that men should be dependent on the length of their sword. Fighting from a distance without the benefit of strategy.